Sounds like she's enjoyed herself. It's so good to have a family day out. Making up for lost time. Yeah. I'm having a really great day and all. Um, if you, um, if you need someone to go with you when you get your test results, I, I could come along. Oh, there's no need. I, I know you hate all that medical stuff. Well, seeing as we're making a fresh start, I mean, you're going to need some support. I'd rather not think about all that stuff right now. Let's concentrate on enjoying ourselves. Got a lot of wasted time to make up for. And I need to choose something to eat. That rock climbing has given me an appetite. I'd uh, rather you explain why you don't want me to come with you to see the doctor. Simple question. I'd love you to have come with me, but I've already been to the doctor. Well, why didn't you say? I didn't want to worry you. And what did he tell you? Um, how long have you got? I don't know. The pain's arthritis. As far as cancer goes, I'm in the clear, so I could keep going for years. You knew this last night, didn't you? And, uh... You, 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 you were going to say something and then Sarah came in all excited because I said I was going to come along today. Does it really matter? I have told you about it now. Well, why didn't you say something then? I, I needed time just to let it sink in. Does anyone else know? I'd well, better ring our chas and tell the good news. <laughs> she already knows, doesn't she? I think I was going to give you another chance. I can explain. No, don't explain. You, you could have said something, but you, you, you didn't. Because it, it, it suited you to, to let me think that you were, you were dying so, so that I'd feel sorry for you. Stick around. You could have told us when we met up this morning. We just started getting on for the first time in years. I didn't want to spoil it. Or do you reckon we can only get on it if I'm worried you're about to die? Well, that's how it feels. I mean, you haven't exactly made things easy for me since I've been back. Yeah, but you know why. Yes, and I admit, I made mistakes, but I thought we agreed on a fresh start. Yeah, but we can't make a fresh start if it's all based on lies. You never, you're never able to face up to the truth. You, you couldn't face up to what Shadrach turned into, so you left me in chance to deal with an alcoholic. and We were just kids. We've been over all that. You never say anything when it matters. You never said anything when you left. It's always just too little too late with you. OK, maybe I should have said about me not having cancer before, but it doesn't alter the fact that I really thought I was dying. And the one thing that kept me going was wanting to make my peace with you before I breathed my last. Well, you don't need to worry about that now because it's not going to happen. Not if you live to be 100. I'm guessing Granny Faith told you how well her and Grumpy were getting on. It's not bad yet, but I thought it was about time that I started celebrating a good news too. What good news? She didn't tell you. Tell me what? <sighs> what is the matter with that woman? Why? What's wrong? She's had her test results. She's in the clear. What? Why didn't you say anything? Look, I thought you cared about me. I thought we were close. We are. Then how could you let me go on thinking you were dying? Look, I have to live with that worry myself every single day of my life. I don't need it for someone else that I love. I'm sorry. You know how difficult things have been between me and Ken. I, I couldn't find the words. Oh, so my feelings don't matter. It's all about him. Where is Ken, anyway? Why hasn't he come back with you? Oh, you didn't tell him either, did you? You promised! I did tell him. I just didn't tell him in time and I messed up again. You can't mess up telling someone you've not got cancer. It's good news. Well, you know what I'm like. If there's a way to ruin something, I'll always find it. Not a good enough excuse. 
It's the first time in ages that Kane and me were getting on, and I knew it was just because he felt sorry for me. I didn't want to spoil that. I wouldn't have let him. I'd have helped to explain if you'd only trusted me, but clearly I'm not worth that much to you. I was waiting for the right moment to tell him, but by the time I got round to it, he realised that I'd already told Charles, and he said that proved that I just wanted him to think I was dying so he'd feel sorry for me. You were your own worst enemy. As far as Kane is concerned, I can never do right for doing wrong, but I did not mean to hurt you. Ugh. Spread your happiness again. Right, Mum might not have dealt with this very well, but we should just all be happy that she hasn't got cancer, shouldn't we? I can't say I feel the same when all I've had is a lifetime of her lies. She'll never change. She doesn't deserve to be part of this family. <laughs>